Hello, everybody. How is everybody doing today? Hello, hello. There's our lovely store. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Um, we are going to be here set up in just a second. Hi, there. No, 30 minutes. Uh, I didn't pull it yet. I know it's another one. But can you guys hear us? Okay, hopefully we can. Uh, we have our mic unmuted here. Um, we're going to get started here in just a second. Dave, uh, unfortunately forgot to set up the mystery boxes. I got distracted. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> so he's working on those now. Don't worry about it. We got them all there. We're trying to take normal. Um, we are going to start a show here normally. I will say that we are sans button boy today. Um, button boy is not here. Um, please tell your wife I said hi. <laughs> Jojo says hello. Uh, is this Chris in the future? Did you get taller? No. Uh, no, Chris is not this short or overweight. Um, Chris is a Chris is a much handsomer version of myself. I like to think because because he's got a little bit of his mom in there, so it helps him out. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and get the show started here real quick. Uh, Button Boy is actually doing a um, live band performance with uh, his middle school right now to um, show off, essentially, um, and raise money for the school uh, for band boosters. So they're going to be over there doing that. Uh, he is an eighth grader graduating this year, by the way, um, and going over to Lockport to play Barry Sapp. So he's going to be doing some fun stuff over at Lockport High School. Um, and before everybody gets in here, not exactly sure how many people are here from where, but I appreciate you guys being here. Um, I will forewarn you that depending on who joins, you might see some weird comments today. Um, the downside is, unfortunately, a couple of days ago, we did lose my dad. He passed away. Um, so we are having a, a service for him this weekend. Um, but we're here. We're having some fun. We're still playing with Lego. Um, working. Working through it, Sarah actually just had a lot of fun um, not too long ago, uh, cruising across the floor on a, on a uh, furniture mover, so that was kind of funny. Um, unfortunately, we don't have it on official video. We could probably pull up the security footage and see it. Uh, we get a lot of fun footage from those. Uh, but if you guys happen to see any uh, comments and stuff tonight uh, about saying sorry or anything else, um, that's why. We're not going to be kind of a big uh, downer about it. We're doing okay. We're not, um, we're not downers today. We're celebrating yep, life. Yep, we're celebrating life. We had a great time. It was, it was a lot of fun. Um, likely we'll eventually have some beverages and stuff on Sunday uh, afterwards. Um, kind of what we do in my family. Um, so anyway, yep. Uh, we just want to forewarn you that if you guys see that, that's why. Um, we're not trying to bring a big downer. I will say we have a lot of cool stuff on the show. Um, but we will talk about that later here in just a second because we are – Getting started. We will see you guys here in about 45 seconds, give or take. See you soon. Come to Bricks and Minifigs, where we buy, sell, and trade all things Lego. With a variety of new sets, used sets, minifigs, and more, there's something for everyone to enjoy. We specialize in rare and custom Lego products you won't find in other stores. Dig through our bulk tables to find that one piece you've been looking for. Have Lego products you no longer need? We'll buy them from you for cash or in-store credit. The adventure begins at Bricks and Minifigs. Visit us today and let your imagination soar. officially here at the Bam Crest Hill location. You guys love and adore, of course. We have all kinds of stuff for you guys tonight. Some new and box stuff, some collections, all kinds of stuff. A handful of brickheads, which you will definitely see later in the show, too. Yes, lots um, of them. We have several new items we've never had here before on the show or in the store, including this uh, the first, second one, in a way. Yeah. Well, this one we had new in box, but we didn't have like this. But the second one we've never had here. No, we've in, in almost seven years, we've never had the set. Yeah, which it was is great. Really awesome 
still tempting, but I can't yep. do it. So <laughs> um, we do have mystery boxes tonight, including the return, of course, of our mystery black box What's special. In the black box? Um, that is, of course, here tonight. We have an, a huge slew of awesome brickheads, many of them new in box. So if you guys are into the brickheads, we do have collections of them set up. So um, almost all of them are at least in a pair or a group of them, um, depending. And yes, they go back as far as I think it was like 2016, 2015, depending. Um, we actually had the original four, which was the original Batman series that someone picked up yesterday um, before we got to put them on the show. Um, we have there's promos. a ton of city sets, a lot of GWP promo sets. Um, there's um, god, what else? Star Wars sets, um, dinosaurs, a um, little bit of everything, some, some holiday sets, it's kind of just a little bit of a whole mix of all sorts of things. Uh, if you guys, of course, are watching as well, too, make sure you guys uh, hit that like button, hit the heart button, share it with your friends, all that other stuff. Um, because as always, of course, um, until, until it happens. Right until it happens, um, once we get to a um, hundred viewers, um, which is going across the bottom there, uh, one of the lots of the night will be free for whoever um, posts it. We're, we'll do a little spinning round, whatever. Uh, it'll be completely randomized um, to pick on who is doing that. Um, and then, of course, before we get really, really started here, also wanted to let everybody know. I gotta scroll through us. There's one thing I missed button point for is a couple of these things. Uh, we have our adult beverage stands. Yay! Registration is now open for those. Um, you do have to call or stop in and pay for those to reserve yourself a spot. There are only 15 of, the, um, of them available. Uh, I will say, I believe it's 187 pieces. I could be wrong on that, um, but it's almost 200 pieces. Um, there's a lot of different bottles and a lot of things got, that went into this. Um, and uh, we do have all the kits made up already. Um, it is going to be for the event on April 21st at 2 o'clock. It's Sunday, April 21st um, to get those done. It is also the same day as our as our um, uh, minifig swap night. Because actually I'm here for this one because I missed the last two. Dave, Dave was lucky enough to get the last two. Um, so we have minifig swap night um, that Sunday as well. And then if you guys get a chance to, we have STEM Fest. Not to cover Dave's fakes here, but we have STEM Fest tomorrow. Dave and I will both be there from 10 to 4 uh, over at the Romeville uh, Public Library. The, the, the um, what are they? Uh, I'm having a brain fart here. What? White Oak Library of Romeville. Thank you. Uh, from 10 to 4, they've got a bunch of different creepy crawlies there. Um, there's a, a bunch of uh, pet show stuff. There's a lot of cool science going on from JJC and a bunch of different groups. Um, so it's going to be a really fun thing to do. We've been helping out with it for, I think, the last three or four years um, yeah, doing that fun. as well, right? I yeah. think so, three or four years. Um, and, uh, yeah. And the birthdays and stuff. Like, holy cow. Like, it's, we're already halfway through April. Oh, funny enough. Dave, did you know what's it, uh, what today's date is? The 12th. It's the 12th. Okay. Did you know that Brick World Chicago happens in exactly two months from today? Yeah, I know. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not ready. That's right, folks. Brick World Chicago, if you are a... Um, if you are going to be an attendee, as Dave moves out of the way, I hate when you do that. Like, like you're the focus of this whole thing. Um, have it, is the 12th through the 16th. Um, so that's two months from today uh, where we get that done. Um, yes, the JJC is going to be there with different science labs. Uh, Eric is saying, can we lay claim to one of the adult beverage stands tonight or do we have to call? Um, I can write your name down for it, um, but you do have to pay for it to actually secure it. So yes, Eric, we can definitely put you down for as many as you want. There's no limit. Um, I already know we have John who used to watches our shows as well, already wanted to, he claimed them last week. Um, so we have 13 of them available as of right now. Um, so yes, we can write you down for it, but please call, um, Sarah over here tomorrow. She will be here running the store with Becca, um, and, uh, Tim, uh, make sure you talk to Sarah though. She'll get you all taken care of over the phone, um, and get you all set up. Um, yeah, yeah. Otherwise... It's a great show tonight. There's like 40, 40 lots. 43 lots. 43. Yeah, 43, 43 lots, including the mystery we boxes. Almost, we, almost had almost, we almost had like half a show. We almost had half a show, but I, I sold a lot morning. of my brickheads to this. Yep. Um, <laughs> Lou joining us saying, oh my gosh, I made it before the end of the show. Yes, we haven't even gotten started, Lou. Hello, Lou. Um, by the way, Lou, uh, text me later if you got a chance. Uh, we need to talk. Talky talk. Um, and uh but we got a lot of cool stuff in we're happy to share this stuff with you guys um and i did get word today that the brick savers are awesome brick savers uh, which are available for pre-order right now on our website i think we have uh, our black and silver are returning with our all new metallic gold finish which we are all excited about right dave 
I'm, I'm very excited. Uh, so once we get them, I believe it's going to be in about four or five days, give or take. Uh, we will be opening up the gold one um, so that we have that on display. We already have the black one on display here in the store. And then Dave has uh, been kind enough to bring his uh, silver metallic one in. Um, so we'll have all three on display so you guys can check them all out. I will try um, and bring it Sunday. <laughs> uh, today. It is a lot of fun. We, we were very excited to have them again this year. Um, and we have more than everybody else in the entire company. So if you are looking for awesome brick savers and there is no limit, you can buy four, five, six, whatever you want. Just know that they're not returnable. Um, so when you buy them, they're yours. Um, unless there's some some other issue with them, we can take care of that for you as well. Uh, Eric and Frank, yes. Yes, we can write Eric and Frank down. So Eric and Frank, you guys got yours. We'll put them down. Um, Oscar Ramirez would like one as well. So we got one for Frank, one for Eric, one for Oscar. Two for John. So that means we are down to 10 left already. See, look at that. A third of them are gone already. So thank you guys so much. Um, they are, uh, Sarah and them are going to box them up and everything else tomorrow and get them all set up. Uh, we also have a Rebecca Wilson that would like one. So that we're now down to nine. See how, see how this goes? Oh, and we do have one flower stand for March as well left over that uh, was not paid for. So we do have one floral stand left as well from last month. Um, uh, Eric, I don't know what you mean. He's, he wrote as this Eric too. Oh, oh, you want one as well, Eric? Eric Watt? Right. I'm just double checking. There is two Eric's. Eric's. I believe Eric Watt, like Watts, W-A-T-T, also wants one. Eight more so we have though. Eric Melanchenko, Eric Watt, Rebecca Wilson, Frank, and uh, Oscar. Yeah, thank you. And then John for two. All right. Whoo! Look at that. We're down to eight already. That's awesome. So they're half sold out already. We haven't even That's we awesome. just posted right. so, so thank you guys so much. Let's get right into it because Go we got it. a lot to show. All right. So in order for you guys to claim an item we have here tonight, you have to put in the comments below. I claim lot number one, two, forty-three, whatever the number is, for the exact price that we show on screen. And the first person we see, not you, yes. gets it starting tomorrow when we open till next Sunday when we close. You can pay for it and pick it up. If you need it held longer than the nine days we give you, obviously, if you call, message us, come in, yep. et cetera, it's yours. Just, just communicate with us. The That's all you have to do. pay for it, it's yours. And then if you're trying to be hush-hush about it, put shh, I claim lot number on the same line. We'll pull it aside. We won't do a shout out or anything, but just know we got you. Hush-hush. All yep. right. And then Otherwise, also, if you guys are joining us on Twitch or YouTube with the screen name, also make sure that you guys, if you have not claimed something before, you let us know who you are, um, either through a comment in the chat or uh, message us privately, um, either through Facebook or just email us and say, hey, I'm so-and-so. My real name is Blake DeBlake. Um, just so we know who you are. Um, so when you come in, we can actually give it to you and not to some other random stranger that walks in the door. Um, we want to make sure that you actually get your stuff. Um, and Lou is on here saying, I had my flight and room booked for Brickworld back in November. Congratulations. Um, we actually just booked our hotel room, I think, a uh, week and a half ago, and we are not staying at the Renaissance, apparently, because uh, all the rooms were gone. So, it That's is okay. how it You're is. You're a neighbor. You're across the street. We're okay. nearish. We're, we're nearish. <laughs> sleep. You think we're going to get sleep just because they're not in that same hotel? I think not. <laughs> what? Been there, done that. <laughs> um, so, anyway, guys, uh, we do have a lot of stuff. If you guys see anything else you guys like in the background, please let us know. Um, most of everything else in the background at this point has been on the stream already last week or the year week yes. before yes. Um, because stuff just keeps moving and I, I appreciate you guys like you guys have pretty much been selling out of at least half if not more so of every stream we've done um, this year so I really appreciate it uh, Sarah of course really appreciates it since she's our CFO and does all the finance uh, <laughs> uh, but please yes make sure you guys like and share this so we get to those 100 viewers so one of you can go home with a free lot tonight that's what it's about All right. so, so I was giving back to you, you. <laughs> Let's get to it. We got a lot of stuff to show off, and uh, we got. An early and by the way, we have, we're already up to forty-seven viewers, so getting into hundred shouldn't be that hard. Hopefully. All right. All Dave. right. Here we go. Let's lot go. Lot number one. Um, I'm I'm gonna tell you guys right now. Lot number one. I'm I'm not gonna pronounce these that well. Ryan had trouble too. I um, just didn't know there was an extra O in it because it <laughs> right. throws everything so, off. So if you want me to read it, I will read no, the first see, one. see, this is how I'm going to do it. I'm not even going to read it because they'll see it up on screen. I'm not botching it. So I'm going to do it. I'll botch it. Okay. You can botch it. I don't care. So here, <sighs> lot number one for the first time on the show, but not in the store. Well, at least this was new in box. <laughs> uh, real quick, Lou says, so does that mean that the pizza party will be in my room again? Yes. 100% yes. 
Oh, Liam. He said, Liam says, there was a pizza party question mark? Yeah. <laughs> so, unfortunately, you you were not on that invite list. VIP. It was VIP only. We had coops. Well, I didn't know about it. We had coops. <laughs> uh, anyway, lot number one. All right. This here from Jurassic World Dominion. This here is uh, the Giga Notaurus, which I think is that one. Giganotaurus. Gigano? Okay, I see what you mean. And technically, I'm pretty sure it's Gigantos, Gigantinosaurus. Sure. But that's why it throws me off, because right. I, oh, so no, I thought it was always Gigantosaurus, but it's Gigantosaurus. So then this would be the Therosinosaurus? Sure. I, like I said, I'm going to botch these. Like, yeah. yeah. So tonight we have both of these attacking this awesome the stationary. Oh, maybe. I guess. There is a no. There is I a no can source. see that. Um, yeah. Tonight here for $70. This is an awesome set. Check out this helicopter. This the helicopter is sweet. dope. I was playing with it when it came like, in. And then it's got this some kind of like med pack or something inside of it. I, I don't remember from the movie. I only saw it once. I'm pretty sure it was supposed to be a radio. Maybe. Oh, that might be it. But this, this helicopter is awesome. Like the way these are folded down to give it the arches and everything. These rotate. Mm -hmm. Like awesome. Awesome set. You guys, little lookout stand here too, which I actually was really well built on, on yeah. some technique pieces, which is really cool. I love this thing. Yeah. And then, of course, you have the Gigantos Gigantosaurus. I love um, the colors and the detail. Yes. On this, it's and yes, stars. guys, that is um, olive green and black. Yeah, awesome that was one of the color. first dinosaurs that we've had that actually has legitimate black. Not brown, not dark, whatever. Black. Yeah, and then you got this one where it's dark tan and dark bluish gray with a little bit of uh, dark red here yep. and sand blue. Like some really, some really nice good coloration of these guys. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, but yes, uh, you can grab this set here tonight on sale for seventy dollars and does come with instructions as well. Yep. Awesome set. They did a really good job on it. I I could definitely see people getting two of these and just expanding on it, so you have a full roundabout, and then you could have the ATV come through the center of it and then you have a full tower that circles around like it's a solid really well done Jurassic set like, yep. I, I would say it's probably one of my favorites because like just this combo here like hey just for Chris's sake rawr. Rawr. <laughs> <laughs> anyway all right speaking yeah all moving right. on to lot number two over here lot we got an awesome two, lot here for us time in the store and on the show, besides the add-ons, we have here the super secret police dropship from the Lego movie. Super secret, but mighty huge. Yeah, this thing is awesome. I had to reconstruct it a bit because these are supposed to turn on their own. So once you flip one of the doors up, you just rotate the gear. Yeah, it flies around. Yeah. So the reason why you got to do that a little bit is sometimes it'll knock. Yeah. Back and forth. And, and to put it in perspective, guys, if you guys are Star Wars fans, you guys know the size of the new Republic gunship, the dark red one. It is very similar hull size-wise without the wings. So it's like two-thirds it's, the it's, size. It's like 13 inches long, give or take, about uh, eight inches, seven inches wide, give or take. So there's also a zip line or a drop line in the center here. Yep. You could roll up via knobs. You yep. see the there's gear on the side on the that locks yep. it. Back half opens up, and you got this prison Jail. cell, which is nice. The translucent red. You got missile launchers. You got the cannons that are traditional for gunships, as you Star Wars fans know. I like how this is a bulkier version of the course. Now, Dave, I forgot. Was there stickers with this one, uh, or was there no stickers? No. No stickers for this one. Okay. And these were in our filing cabinet, so that's why I was like, cool. Hey, cool. yep. Uh, but by the way, it does come with also two micromanagers as well. With a slew of minifigs. So you get, uh, funny enough, you get John Thunder, uh, Batman, nice Emmett, Lloyd, a bunch of the robo uh, police officers, uh, along with some more robo police officers and skeletons, mm -hmm. and along with a construction mm -hmm. worker. Yeah. So two. you get a whole slew. What is it? Three, four, five, plus eight. That you get uh, 13 minifigs along with this lot as well. So it is a massive lot, guys. It's massive. an awesome lot. I love this. Even if... Frank says, can you pull over a Republic gunship with that one? Sure. Why not? You might, I mean, you might get shot this, down, but I mean, look at the cool size of these cannons, man. Yeah. What's cool with this? This cannon is actually funny enough. This is the same, this is the same cannon mount as right. the Republic gunships. Right. So it's really yeah. nice with it too. And, like, and it's a uh, Slave One's uh, front hood, mm -hmm. or front uh, cockpit there. 
Yeah, but the, this one is more common than the than the. Yes, because the other one has one. the uh, the trans black, right? Yeah. So lot two has missing stickers. I yes. Like, I like how this is a heavier version than the the course on police cruiser, mm -hmm. which is very similar. It's hefty. Yeah, it's awesome. But it's a great set. I, yeah. But like yeah. I said, you get all of this here shown tonight, guys. Tonight for eighty dollars. All right, next up here, as you guys have seen many times before, we just do it, just do it, because it, it's pretty good with parts, too. And it keeps coming in. We yeah, keep getting more. It keeps coming in. We can't help it. <laughs> um, this here is the architectural set of the White House. This is the smallest version of two or three that have been out. And tonight, you can go home with this one here for $25. And does come with instruction manual as well. Yep. I will say, by the way, tonight, guys, um, most of everything tonight is at least 20% off, if not more. And then, of course, when we get to our black box special, that black box special, as always, guys, is going to be at least 50% off tonight. Uh, we do have a claim from Laura for lot number three. The White House is going to be gone. Nice. Congratulations, Laura, and thank you for being the first one to claim a lot tonight. All right, moving on to lot number four as Dave is playing with one of them. Um, these are our first batch of open brick heads, which actually has one of the coolest brick heads I've ever seen. Um, this is going Don't to be our little series wrong. of Lord of the Rings um brickheads here so of course from left to right here we've got frodo with Gollum. we've got gandalf the gray with the balrog and then we have arwen and aragorn king aragorn um so you do get all six of these these are actually three separate sets uh tonight mm -hmm. and you get all six of these uh lovely brickheads with half the instruction manuals literally um for forty dollars that's yes. it Nice, easy lot with some great stuff. It looks like JoJo is going to go ahead and take lot number four. All right. Yeah, I think she was looking at it earlier. I'm telling you. Oh, did, did, they, did I miss them today? Uh, just her and her daughter came Oh, uh, gotcha. Yeah, there's some great stuff tonight. So. Sarah's, oh, Sarah's busy doing stuff, so she's not All here. All right, Mark. next up here from Lego Star Wars. I believe this is, what, episode? Well, this would be the seven, right? Yeah. Seven. Yep. Yeah. So episode seven. This here is Maz Kanata's castle. I don't know why they called it a castle, but I mean, because like, on the planet it actually is a castle. It's a huge mess. Yeah. Castle. No, I remember. It's just I, I just didn't know if they referred it to a castle. Yeah, and then and the fact that uh, she even says at some point that it's like twenty seven hundred years old or something right, like it's that. It's a too, sacred place. Yeah. 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 So yes, uh, you do get Maz Kanata, of course, here with Finn, uh, Kylo Ren, and two of the First Order troopers here tonight. There is some playability functions in here. Tree falls. The trees that fall over, stuff that blows up. If Dave hits the little button here, the wall should explode unless they're put on too tight. Might be not too tight. Bueller. Ah! Oh, I see. I see. Got it. <laughs> Got it. I'm, I'm... So that falls, and the door over here opens and closes. You can move this around. Right, and then, uh, this is supposed to like explode with all these, yep. and then these can come off, and you can knock them over if you want. Yeah, yeah there's a lot of play put them all over the place. Um, but yeah, so tonight you get lot number five, Miles Kanata's Castle for forty dollars. No, I was I was uh, turning out? this because this is supposed to like blow out a crate, and that's supposed to have uh, a lightsaber yep. in it. Yep. So that's why I was like, why isn't this working? <laughs> that's wrong. Why. Batons. Yeah, so tonight you get Miles Kanata's Castle for forty dollars. All, right. All right, moving on to number six. This here from Lego Frozen, we have the Arendelle set with. Yeah, it's uh, just called the Frozen. With the Whatever. Sven, right? Or is that the guy? Sven. No, this is Sven? Okay. Yep, this is Sven. I can never keep track of the characters. You get Sven, and uh, you've got Elsa. Uh, Elsa. Yep, it's Elsa. Yep, Elsa. Uh, along with the Arendelle Castle from uh, Frozen 2. Um, is it gone? Oh, yeah, there you go. Oh, okay, gone. okay moving on. Yep, it's an awesome set. Unfortunately, it was missing space, so you got a great deal on that one, Eric. Yeah, no, it's a nice little build, though. It's All right. Colorful. So, lot number seven, which we had on the stream uh, before, but this is actually another one. This here is... 100% complete with solid instructions. Kenobi, my friend, we have here the Pirate Tank, which is awesome. Such a great set. I Part of me wants them to redo the set, but part of me doesn't because, like, I think it's perfect the way it is, honestly. Right. I think, like, this is solid the way it is. Well, and it's gone too because Eric Watt is going to claim that one. Lot number seven is gone. Uh, for those of you who know, we also have another one. Yes, there is another one. It was shop. missing a couple pieces no. or whatever. No, the, the instructions were good. Is the instruction been That's it. It's another set. Yeah. It. yeah. So we do have another one if you guys want That's another one. like five bucks lower or something like that. So. 
nothing too crazy, but still great set if you guys are also looking for that lot number seven. We have another one. Yep. All right. Next up here, it's time for our Black Box Special. Black Box Special. Right. Tonight's Black Box Special comes to you at the low, low sale price of $25. $25. This is, of course, just like our mystery boxes before. You do not know what's in it. It does not have to pertain to anything else on the show tonight. But, uh, but, but you do is. know it it's um, at least, how much off, Dave? At least 50% off. So that means this is, is at least a $50 set. Is that correct? Yes. yes. Yep. So it's at least a $50 set of item, or items uh, that are in this set. box. Um, and that means it's going to be at least $50 worth tonight. So. So the question is, who is going to claim All right, who's first? Who's lot number eight? Who's Mr. Getting... Frank Espinosa. Frank, guess what? Frank was the, was the claimer. Who gets your very own Triceratops. Hey. Hey, yo. $50 Triceratops. Half off. Dun, 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 dun. Congrats to you, Frank. And Frank, lucky you. The only reason why we had this on the show tonight, we couldn't fit it in our animal case. Yeah, I already <laughs> so have said, one you know what? Case. We're gonna go half off on our, on our awesome triceratops. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, so congratulations on this awesome triceratops, sir. This lovely fifty dollar animal is now yours. Oh look, Frank says that's my favorite. So you know what? Triceratops is a very close second to my Calosaurus. He's a, he's in my jam. It's a great so. defensive dinosaur. Congratulations, you got that one. All right, right. lot number nine, Dave. What do we got? Lot number nine. Also, for the first time, we have here the Lion Den Sky Brickhead. This here is number 151. It's a great set. Very colorful. Oh my yeah. gosh. 151. And then, like, check this out. The mouth opens, and then Rawr. you get these new, like, angled printed ball joint or ball axle connector from. Lego Technic using the bananas in yellow for the eyebrows. Like We've got a lot of people trying to get this one, but Rebecca Wilson got this one first. It's a, it's a really nice set. I, I have to look this up and see if I can get me a We had four these. people after this one. Yeah, it's nice. Well, I'm glad, guys, because just wait until we see these other brickheads that are coming up soon. All right, next up here from Lego City, lot number 10. Here is the mobile crane. You guys have seen it here before, and it's back again. It's complete. It's awesome. And look, look how long this string is. <laughs> I can't even keep it in front. There we go. That is, that's a it's a long, long string. string. That's a long string. And that's because this is actually the first use of this technique. Uh, it's actually a wire holder, funny enough. No, it's it's actually used in a lot of other sets. Not This is one of the first ones, though. I know it's used in a lot of other ones, but this is actually this is the wire holder for all the other uh, newer EB3 and Mindstorm sets. Yeah, along with the new power fun the new powered up sets. Mm -hmm. um, so you'll see that a lot in a lot yeah, of those. Yeah, so uh, Jay Cyber Dragon has them in blue for the feet. Oh, there you go. Which is really nice. But and I think you get eight or ten in this. True, yeah. man. Well, this one does come complete with instructions as well. And Oscar Ramirez is going to go ahead and take lot number ten home. So nice. congratulations. All right, next up here, lot number eleven. Sarah, I'm going too quick. Let me know. Or just tell me when I need to click buttons. Say right and click buttons. Okay. All right. This here from Lego Star Wars is the T6 Skyhopper set. This is the second version. T16 Skyhopper. Oh, I said T6 tonight. My bad. The T6 is a different kind of shuttle there, Dave. You're right. <laughs> Still, it's an awesome set. Uh, practically complete. You got the pilot. You got a little rat buddy. You got a... Tuscan Raider, and uh, yeah, tonight you can go home with this set here for $30. And Michael Nichols is going to go ahead and grab that one. I think this is one of two sets that has these wing pieces in a translucent black, which is nice. Yeah, yeah, otherwise they're full solid colors and primarily used on those they come, uh, Jedi Interceptors. They come in a translucent clear, and then there's another. <laughs> Liam says the G6 is greater than the G16. Uh... Yes. I guess maybe after Soka, sure. But other than that, if you, we didn't, since we didn't see the inside, I would have still said the, the 16 was better. Honestly. What? I'm pushing buttons. All right, push the button guy. Woohoo! Button. Uh, <laughs> all right, lot number 12 comes to us from GC Superhero oh. Girls. It's the Wonder Woman dorm. Da -da -da -da. Nice With guess who? Wonder Woman. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, tonight we have this brand new sealed in box, really nice playable set, and tonight you can go home with this here for, um, wait, you not, know, I'm looking at the wrong, $30, $30. that's 25% off tonight, that's right folks. Much lower on this. Before. This one, this one does come with, as well with a lovely, um, 
uh, invisible motorcycle, of course, the Wonder Woman cycle. Um, you do get both the instructions, and this is actually supposed to also connect to the DC Superhero Girls yep. high school. Yes. Whatever high school, school, whatever school, whatever school is. It actually attaches on the side. Why? Because Wonder Woman is supposed to be one of the teachers. Mm-hmm. What? And it goes from a dorm room to a battle ready room. Yes, which is crazy. We actually had the set uh, built a few times. It's actually mm-hmm. pretty fun. No, it's a good set. Um, so you do get this one here, too. Of course, the little, little bad guys. I forgot what they were called, but they have little bad guy names. Um, um, the, the, the little little orange mite, dudes. Is that what? Yeah, Kryptonite. I think that's right. Yeah, I think um, they come Kryptonite. in different colors. There's orange, blue, green, whatever. It's a lot of fun. Purple. Um, but tonight, you can get this one here tonight. 25% off for $30 of claim Number 12. Very cool. Very cool. All right. Next up here from Lego City, also for the first time in the store right. like this. We've had it new in box, of course. Now we have it built out of blocks. Complete. Check this out. This here is the new city airport um, passenger airplane, which is interesting because it also counts as cargo. Because you can well, you have to be cargo, there. yeah. Yeah, but cargo. What kind of car? Be... Oh, the car go. Get uh-huh. it? Because you got to make the car go. It's the uh-huh. cargo. Uh-huh. Yep. And you have the passengers. A nice little uh, map of where they're going. Which that huh. TV screen. Is this Chicago? No, I'm just kidding. No, I wonder what that island is represented. <laughs> Heart Lake City Island. I don't know. Uh, it looks like a bionicle island, honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but the cockpit comes off as well. Uh, so you can get yeah. your pilots in there. Uh, there we go. With full flight sticks and everything else. Flight yokes, which actually is... I'm not going to lie. This is probably the most detailed yes. Yes. Cat pilot cabin they've ever had. They have uh, the typical good old 2 by 2 slopes in the front here. But having the yokes and the brakes and the engine uh, thrusters and stuff on there is actually really cool. Um, it does also come with a cute little airport made with the um, the original um, roller coaster slopes shown on top there. Um, and then, of course, it comes with a slew of minifigs to come along with this set. And it does have all four books of instructions, your tug as well as your car go, um, and your steps, your little mobile steps here that come off and you can attach it to those as well. Yeah, it's a solid vehicle. Um, and tonight you can get this entire lot uh, complete with with instructions for sixty five dollars. Who's making yokes? Is it an S cargo? Ha ha ha! No. Okay. Uh, what type of plane cockpit do you all prefer, the longer one or previous planes? That's a good question, Liam. Um, I it kind of depends this. because this one is more of a, what I would refer to as a snub nose. Um, Ooh. Yep. Uh, they've used them on plenty of other things before, but it's kind of cool to have them in there finally. Um, but so I do kind of like the older cockpits better in that sense. But there are certain Airbus models and other things too as well. I'm not going to get into technical jargon when planes are involved um, that do have a shorter front nose like this. <laughs> so it is a thing. Is the door bolted on correctly? Um, I hope so. Um, and actually, this one only has a front door, so I'm guessing that one's fine. It was the, the back door that was messed up. Um, and I will also say that, um, one of our friends was actually on that flight that started the whole investigation as well, uh, sitting two rows behind that door that flew off. Uh, and we have a claim from Terry Maddock for a lot number 12, the Wonder Woman dorm. Wonder Woman dorm is gone. Congratulations to Terry Maddock. Sweet. All right. Uh, moving. Now that everyone's making plane jokes. <laughs> All right. Moving on to lot number right. thir- no, 14. We're going from one kind of air sort of to another. All right. <laughs> Next up here from Lego Ninjago. These were, I believe, last year's little um, promo add-on, so yes. to speak, yep. Ninjago sets from the current season of Dragon Rising, which is awesome. So you have Kai, Nia, and Lloyd here in their. Oh, why is it? Oh my gosh, I put J on there instead of the. I saw the blue. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> you change blue. that to Nia. Yeah. Oh, see, I didn't, Nia's. I didn't realize that either. Yeah, yep. Jay, Jay missed it as well on the thing, so it's fine. Yeah. Anyway, yep. Yeah, I, yeah. So you get Kai, Lloyd, and Nia um, here. Um, and these are brand new in box. They are, uh, I actually still think they might be still available in no, some sense. They are retired, actually. But they are on sale tonight. And it looks like a John Thomas is going to go ahead and claim lot number 14. All right. Well, all of these are yours. It's awesome. You get some dragon cores with them. And yes. Some great characters. Go- awesome minifigs. Their arms in their are styles. translucent, which is really nice, yep. too. And actually, I, I love their new... Um, their gear. The wraps and stuff, yeah. yeah. All right, moving on to lot number 15. It's like we've had plenty of times, but tonight you get it brand new. Lot number 15 is the Coast Guard Patrol set. 
Um, this is a very, ex uh, normally very expensive set here. As you can see, it's normally $150. We have it on, th on sale tonight, $30 off. Um, this does come with a floatable boat. Uh, it is a, a huge Coast Guard boat. It's probably about 20 inches long, give or take. Um, takes up, that's the reason why the box is as big as it is. Um, it does come with a whole slew of minifigures, including three extra sharks. You get a nice little dog as well to go with your um, lighthouse, um, your um, green um, speedboat sort of thing going on, your raft boat or whatever, as well as the Coast Guard boat. Um, and it does include a nice little submarine and, of course, your um, hydro safe helicopter. Uh, so tonight you get this entire lot set here tonight, uh, brand new, uh, for one hundred and twenty dollars. Ba 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 dip. It's actually a really fun set. It, I like the color. I'm working on modifying one of these for Brickworld. I, I want to get that boat race going. I'm telling you, I'm joining the boat race this year. Do it. Trying to. You got two months, my friend. I'm trying two to. Months. I know. I got to get some of those motors over there and start hooking them up. <laughs> I know. All right. Bluetooth, man. Bluetooth. Next That's all I'm gonna say. Here. Careful, so you're not running around like them with your head cut off. We have here from Lego Star Wars, it's the first ever Chicken Walker. Yes, yeah. this is the Hoth ATSC, otherwise known as the Chicken Walker, because it is different than every other ATSC. Look at the toes. Because it's got the toes. That's right, folks. Yeah. It's got the little pointy toes. Um, awesome. This one does come with a few minifigures here. You get, of course, uh, Chewbacca, which is kind of funny because it's got Chewie, along with two random rebels. Um, I believe uh, well, no, this is a rebel, is... and this is the pilot for this. Yeah, yeah, but neither one of them is very. Oh, I guess it's true. Both sides. Um, neither one of them is really important, but they're all here. Plus, you get a nice, cute little imperial droid on a little stand, which is awesome. Um, but of course, it is the only ATST chicken walker um, that exists so far in Lego, and it's an awesome set. And it looks like Alan Trace is going to go home with lot number sixteen. So, congratulations, uh -huh. to Alan. <laughs> Having fun. All right, for another one of our brickheads tonight. Uh, what? Bro. Alan? Oh, hello. What? This guy just like bumped into the glass out here, like almost broke it. Um, so, is, oh, Alan's birthday, you said? Oh, oh that's right. He gets, finally gets his other uh, birthday present, right? Dun, dun, dun. Am I supposed to say nothing? <laughs> they already know. Law number 17 tonight is going to be Frankenstein. It's funny because it's called Frankenstein, but it's actually Frankenstein's monster. Way to go, Lego. Not really getting anything right. Uh, but tonight, it's the Frankenstein monster here tonight for $10. It does include the instructions as well. Um, and looks like... Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Naomi says that she's still taking uh, taking apart the other one. <laughs> Charla. Charla's going to go ahead and get lot number 17. It's gone. Congratulations. Everybody's after these brickheads. I'm telling you, just wait, guys. We got a whole bunch of them coming up. A whole slew of them. A whole slew of them. Back to back to back to back to back to back to back. All right. <laughs> Next up here, line number 18 from Minecraft. We have here the Nether Portal. This is pretty nice. This is one of many sets that combine together to give you the whole like rail system and mining cart. So this Those way, yep. back and forth, you can go from the nether and back, and then if you turn here, careful, you might get lava, lava! dropped on you. Oh, no! And then, uh, what is this, netherite? That is another right block, yep. Okay, cool, cool. Look at that, me learning. Um, and then uh, you do have, of course, uh, Steve with his diamond sword. You get one of the blazes and a ghast. And this <gasps> ghast shoots, which is really nice. Yes. And then it's built upside down, so it, these are all the inverted tiles with the studs as you guys could see mm -hmm. and then that way you got the legs you could shift and then you just press the axle on the bottom and it shoots out this cool little like digital flame and then uh, it's actually using the one by one flower petal studs for the eyes, eyes yep. which is nice gives them a nice textural yep. look um but tonight you can get the nether portal uh set here for 40 dollars all right ladies and gentlemen ba -ba -ba. So, these next four lots. Oh, quick question. Uh, Lou is asking, are the set numbers on the Brickheads line all in chronological order? Um, if you decide to go in line from 1 to 250 something, whatever they're at right now, um, yes, they go in order of release. Mm -hmm. um, so Batman, which is number one, along with Joker, Batgirl, and Robin, were one through four. Um, most lines, as you will see later tonight, do have consecutive numbers, um, but there are some that do jump around. Um, that also being said that Hey, if we make this one now and we make a different version of that one in two years, yes, it will have a dramatically different set number. 
Um, but the item numbers, the one through to whatever it is, um, as you'll notice on the the red brick in the corner right there, right there, those are all chronological order. If that answers your question, Lou, hopefully. Sarah still hasn't pulled off the thing yet. It's That's okay. Should be all right. Stuff. That was claimed, right? Yes. Okay, cool. All right, so, ladies and gentlemen, these next four lots are promo items, GWPs. Oh, hey, Sarah, for 22, can you change it, uh, add four available on the end of it, please? I'll handle the, I'll handle these for so now. So these are all that have come out over the past few months or year or so, including the newest one, which is really nice, which is yep. why Ryan just told Sarah to edit for four, because we will have four available. Yeah, I forgot to. We'll get to that in a moment. All right, so starting off, lot number 19... This promo here is the first ever 12 in one set. Brand new in box, and it could be yours for 12 bucks, right? $10. 10 bucks, all right. I told you almost everything's on sale tonight, guys. Almost everything. Gotta trust me on this. I would never let you. Uh, but yes, yeah, so you get this new in box set. It does come with a slew of different cute builds in this as well. Um, actually, I bought one of these, or got one of these for myself and kept it. Um, because it does have a, a lot of different cute little things in here. Of course, we have the lighthouse, which is my fi my dad's favorite builds was the lighthouses. Um, you get the nice cute little lion. You've got the airplane. You've got a cute little koala bear. The, um, nice. the coral reef down there. You got a sailboat, the little crab, um, little um, carousel. So lots of different things. Oh, of course, to get the ice ice cream. Now the big thing is you cannot build all of these at the same time. Um, there are certain ones that you can build at the same time. It'll like, let you know kind of which ones that are. Um, but like, for instance, there's two flags in the set, so you obviously can't build the carousel and the castle at the same time. Uh, but you can, you'll can, you be able to figure it out and have some fun with it. But otherwise, it's a lot of fun. Um, and I actually personally made the ice cream thing because I thought it was pretty cool. Um, so lot number 19 to be yours for $10. and looks like Eric Watt is going to go ahead and take that one home. Cool. All right. That one's claimed. Speaking of fun sets, we have lot number 20, Dave. Why don't you tell us about lot number 20? Lot number 20 is the Pirate Ship Playground set. This is a nice little promo that I think you got during uh, summer last year. Right? Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Summer, yeah, summer, yeah, summer last year. Fallish yep. last year. So yeah, it's a cool little pirate playground. You get a little octopus, you get a little slide through the pirate ship, a crab, two characters, and it's gone. And yep, JoJo's going to go ahead and take lot number 20 home. Cool. Next up here, for you old school Forestman fans, we have here the Forest Hideout set. This is a... <laughs> so I keep turning, putting it on and Sarah keeps taking it off. <laughs> this here is an updated version of an original set from the 90s. And tonight you can go home with this set here for $45. It's yeah, so it's really set. cool too because you can set this one up to sit next to each other, but it has a collapsible set as well. It has uh, two different hinges in it one at the bottom, one in the middle, one on top uh, that you can fold it and turn it into just a giant tree house, which is pretty dope. Um, it does come with two minifigs and was part of the 90 year celebration, 90 years of play. Um, and then if you look on the back here, you do see that. That format here where you can turn it into a long tree or you can open it up side by side to have that extra playability. Um, does come with a whole little slew of um, different accessories and stuff to go along with it. And of course, those updated shields, those forestman shields, which look amazing. Um, so we do have this lot here tonight um, on sale for $45. Yes. All right. Next up here, this is the newest promo for this month, which ends in a couple days. Um, actually, what the Sunday it ends. Sunday yep. it ends. So we actually got four in the store. They are brand new, sealed in box. And if you wanted to, you could get two or more and just edit them on the side and line them all up like a nice little outdoor wall. Yes. So we do have four of these available. They are twenty dollars each. Um, so if you guys want more than one, please notify us that you want more than one. Um, otherwise, we'll assume you only want one. Um, and they are again 20% off tonight. Um, otherwise, you have to spend what was it, Dave? 125 something like that. Uh, I believe to get these, yep. And you can hang them up too, they come with a little bracket where you can hang them. We do have one claim for my Michael Franzen, okay? So we can knock that one down. One yep. is claimed. So now, where there are three left, bloop, bloop, bloop. three. So we have three of these lovely flower trellis displays left. Um, and I will say, of course, the cool thing is. You can always take inspiration from the other floral sets that have come out, the bouquets, wild blue flowers, um, all that stuff, the tulips, different things, sunflowers, all that stuff, um, and actually change these up to whatever you want. Um, and, of course, once you have the um, setup done, 
um, with how the basket weave and everything else is done, you can make it bigger and actually have a huge giant one. So um, it's really cool and very expandable very easily. Um, and you can make an entire wall, honestly, out of this, like a big giant four by four foot wall if you wanted to. Um, Sarah, we do have another claim. Oh, they're coming through here now. Keanu Vasquez is going to take one of those. Um, Julie Hill is going to take one. Three down. And Katie Sanchez. What? Did you say something? No. Okay. So they're all gone. Oh, woo, 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 woo. All gone. Nice. So Michael Franson, Keanu Vasquez, Julie Hill, and Katie Sanchez all nice. getting one of those lovely flower trellis displays. Good. Now I have to do it? All right. So there's making cards. All right. Your turn. Moving on to lot number 23 from a fun-loving game from LEGO Dimensions here. We have the Legolas and Gimli Fun Packs. Funny enough, I met Gimli in person. That the man is awesome. Too bad I didn't have this at the time. I would have had him sign it too. Uh, but John Reese Davies uh, didn't get to meet him in person thanks to uh, Brick's Benefix Corporate. He was actually at uh, our conference last uh, year, which yep. is pretty cool. So tonight you can get both of these technically three in one dimension sets with two yeah. awesome characters. And if you wanted to, you could do like a mini scene of them battling at Helm's Deep, counting how many orcs they take out and yeah, see, just have a lot three of fun. In one. Tonight, go home with lot number 23 here for a nice $30. Nice, 15 bucks each. All right. Yes. It's a great game, too, by the way. If you guys have not played it, it's awesome. It's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. All right. Next up here, um, I believe this is the first time it's been on the show, right? Uh, We've had it in the yeah, store. So this is the side-by-side -side with a friend lot. Right? What? Sure. Yeah, sure. I'm pretty sure it's I'm pretty sure that's the Lord of the Rings reference. Let's see what they talk about. Yeah. Gotcha. Anywho. All right. Lot number 24 is our last lot of the first half. As you can tell, we are near the green wall. Um, and it is coming to us from Lego Star Wars. Star Wars, it is. The Inquisitor's Scythe, right? Yes, the Inquisitor Transport Scythe. This is awesome this set. So you get all three Inquisitors. You got the fifth brother, you get the Grand Inquisitor, you get Reva and Obi-Wan. It's an awesome set. Check this out. Like, this is a awesome way to open this up. So you could lift up the cockpit and open it up. See all the room in there. He's gone, Randy. And then if you want them to walk out, you open this, you fold down the chair, and they just walk on yeah, out. Scroll on up. Like this is an awesome set. I wish this was a little bit bigger. Yeah, but the ramp is cool. The front ramp is cool. Yeah, no, I really like how it opens just like a... But Michael Nichols is going to go ahead and get lot number 24. Very nice. A lot of fun. Great characters. And tonight, it's yours. Congrats. All right. So, before we get to our <laughs> second half, we're going to do a recap. And Are we going to do a recap? Are we going to do a recap? We typically do a recap. And... Uh, yeah, you'll probably see a couple other things. We still have a bunch of new box sets. Bunch of new box stuff. Um, all over the place. We still have some big stuff today. Holy yeah. cow. Well, I saw the castle the other day. Oh, and... that's right. Yeah. Design You're a nice welcome. castle. Yeah, thank you back. for taking it, or else I would have ended up buying it, and then this one would have yelled at me. I made him an offer he couldn't refuse, <laughs> and I told him it I was. made him an offer he couldn't it, it refuse. It was well worth the investment, so he bought it. He came in the next day, and he bought it. It was good, so. That's, that's why we got some empty spots, but hey, we, we got more coming, so stay tuned. Otherwise, uh, Sarah, are you ready? No? That's okay. Too bad, because okay. it's Rewind Recap time! Here we go! All right, guys, we are off. Wandering, looking at the stars. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> We're going to get over here. Man, I think, okay, there you go. Let's clear up a little bit. I think it was getting a little funky. Uh, we are going to go ahead and do our first recap of the night here on the sets that are still available for the first half of the show. Of course, if you guys want them, a lot of snow. And then after this recap, we will move on to our second half, which has a lot more brickheads available for you guys and some more city sets and other things. Uh, and, of course, our final three mystery boxes are coming up tonight as well. Uh, so starting off our recap tonight, lot number one. Am I, oh, yeah, I'm push, still pushing buttons, Sarah? Apparently. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm still pushing buttons, guys. Sorry. All right, lot number one is the Gigantosaurus and Terizinosaurus attack uh, from Jurassic World uh, Dominion, I believe. Uh, this is lot number one for $70 on sale because it comes with everything, including instructions. Uh, lot number two comes to us from Lego Movie. 
This is the super secret police drop ship with micro managers. We get two of those extra bonuses. Um, by the way, it is from this set here with uh, Metal Beard. Metal Beard is just not here. So we do have some micro managers. Along with a slew of 13 minifigs to get here from all sorts of different realms. It is kind of cool to get Batman, Lloyd, and Johnny Thunder all at the same time. It's pretty cool. Uh, but you do get all this shown here tonight for the uh, sale price of $80. Then we're going to walk it down, down to lot number five. Lot number five. There we go. Uh, we got Bonds Canada's Castle here tonight uh, with all four mini, all five minifigures. When I'm trying to run away. Uh, here with instructions for $40 for lot number five. Moving on down. Are you back on the buttons? All right. Moving on down. We're going all the way to lot number 13, which is that passenger airplane, of course, with the doors bolted on because I know it was, we were asking about that earlier. <coughs> Uh, Chris, I love that about the Lego movies. That's such a variety of themes. 100%. That's like the modern version of, uh, uh, was it time, not the time travel, time, what am I thinking? Dave, what was that other group called? Time. No. Lego. It was like the first time traveler group. There was only like seven sets. No. Whatever. I'm brain farting. Not time quest. Someone help me out here in the in the chat. Um, not multiverse. No, it, it was the whole thing. Anyway, uh, lot number thirteen is the passenger airplane. It does come with a slew of eight different minifigures here. You get your nice little tug cart along with the cargo. Um, your tire, your um, your ladder here. You get a cute little airport. I guess it says airport. Uh, along with all four books of instructions here tonight. Uh, you get this awesome set, lot number 13, for $65. And looks like Oscar Ramirez is going to go ahead and claim lot 13. Yes, Star Farmer, Freddy, thank you. Time Cruisers, thank you. Time Cruisers was the line. There was only about eight sets made in like 1993 or something like that based off Castle, um, Pirate, Space, and um, something else. Uh, it was a pretty awesome lot, so I like, I like those guys. Uh, but congratulations to Oscar for getting lot number 13. Then we're going to move it on to lot number 15. I got it. I got it. Which is the Coast Guard Patrol set here. New in box. Marked down $30. Uh, down to uh, $120. So we get another 20% offset here. Uh, brand new. It comes with that awesome floatable boat. Boat plural. Um, along with the helicopter, the uh, lighthouse here, as well as the submarine. Uh, for $120 if you want lot number 15. Otherwise, we're going to move down to lot number 18, which is the Nether Portal from Minecraft. Grr. <laughs> By the way, guys, if you see that the, little, uh, the lot numbers keep going on and off, it's because Sarah keeps pushing the button the same time I do, or after I do, and she doesn't realize it, she's maybe moving a little slow or something. Uh, so that's why it keeps popping up now. Uh, so anyway, lot number 18, another portal could be yours here tonight for $40. Comes complete with Steve, a blaze, and of course the gas. The gas by itself is like 20 bucks, by the way. It's kind of crazy. Um, otherwise, we're going to move on to lot number 21, the forest hideout. Uh, this, of course, is the remake GWP set uh, and sell on sale here tonight for $45. So then we got lot number 23, the Legolas and Gimli Fun Packs here from LEGO Dimensions. We do have both these guys available. Brand new in package. Um, it's really cool to have these guys. And, of course, you can add all sorts of different playability to your Dimensions lot. Dave actually used to own every single one of them, or does still own all of them. I have a whole collection, including some extras. Dave has the entire collection of LEGO Dimensions, which is pretty oh, awesome. Right, you share them with your brother, yes. You share the collection with your brother. Um, and then, of course, line number 24, we have sold. So it's gone. So that's it. Moving on to the second half. The second half time. Let me get to the line number All right. All right. <laughs> you would post that up, Linsner. All right, line number 25. We're getting into something a little festive and out of sorts. We have a blank wall. Yes. <laughs> no, just kidding. We've got Santa Sleigh. Santa's coming to town. Santa's coming to town. No, we're not doing all that. Town. Not stop. Santa Claus is coming to town. So he's coming time. around. Oh, funny enough, he's lot number 25. That's, that's Hey, I did that on purpose. Did you? I did. Well, okay. All right, so lot number 25. It doesn't matter because Eric Watts is going to take it home. It's fine. It's, fine. it's done. It's Congratulations, fine. Eric. You get an awesome four reindeer along with a Santa Claus. Right. He's stopping at your home next. Go. Uh, Lou says, did Chris quit his butt? Boy, Chris is actually at a concert tonight. Lou, he is not here, unfortunately. He is. But we don't need him. It's fine. We'll have the whole show done before he gets here. Oh, he's getting dropped off? Um, sure. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, all right, moving on to lot number 26, Dave. What do we got? From the Mandalorian, we have here. 
Sarah's on the button. Dark Trooper Hallway. You gotta tell me, I told you. With Luke, three Dark Troopers. Not only that, but you get Din Djarin. And, and three more Dark Troopers. More. What? So you get six Dark Troopers, Din Djarin, and Luke Skywalker? What? Yeah, so they can team up and fight all the box and call it a day. Wow. Kick them right out the door here. So this lovely lot number 26 could be yours if you claim lot number 26 for $50, not lot 25. It's pretty nice set. I really like the Dark Troopers. Even if you don't have them with their armor and helmet, they're still a really solid figure. So, I mean. So, guys, if you guys want to claim this lot, it is lot number 26. There we go, Katie. Congratulations. <laughs> Everybody keeps saying lot number 25. It's lot number 26. <laughs> so Katie Sanchez is going to go ahead and get lot number 26. What? Yep. Everybody's putting in wrong numbers here tonight. All right, lot number 27. We've got Stom's Dodge Charger tonight from LEGO Technic. Uh, we've got this one here tonight. It does not have instructions or a box. But it's complete. Uh, but it's awesome. It's, it's awesome. Complete. It's cleaned off a bit. It's Got plenty of function to it. The hydraulics, the fuel tanks, the NOS. All of it, and it can be yours. Lot number 25. Did you say NOS? NOS. NOS bottles. All right. This one can be yours for $45. Lot number 27. Not too bad. Jake, yes, there was. You missed them. I was asking about Ninjago sets. Yep, they're gone. Uh, lot number 27 well, can no, be yours. Ninjago, you're going to wait. Um, Oscar Ramirez is going to claim lot number 27. Congratulations. Right. Sweet. Great car for a great price. Next up here for you Star Wars fans, if you want to relive episode four here, we have here lot number 28. We have an X-Wing and two TIE Fighters. <laughs> <laughs> and what's really cool, you just pop a wing off. And yeah. Hold on. <laughs> Insert explosion. <laughs> <laughs> Insert explosion. <laughs> Got to give cheap CG, you know. Uh, but yes, we do have uh, all three of these lots here tonight. They are all complete with instruction manuals, manuals. Uh, so you do get two oh, pilots, no. two protocol droids, two stormtroopers. Um, you get uh, D uh, Dodana, I believe, um, Luke, uh, oh, yeah. R2, and Leia, yep. along with this lot. Um, I figured it works perfectly because it's exactly how pretty much every X-Wing battle goes. It's one X-Wing for two TIE fighters, and usually the X-Wing always wins. Um, so we get this awesome lot here tonight for eighty dollars. If you want all three of these beautiful, lovely ships, yeah, these both came out at the same time. And these Keith Flowers the is going to claim lot number twenty-eight, and they're all very handheld and very squishable. Yeah. Very, they're, it's going to be a lot of fun. These these are a great size. If you're yes, Jojo, thank big, you. Like, <laughs> I try. If you're trying to build a big carrier like the one from Rebels, yep. these are a great size. Yes, but Keith Flowers is going to go ahead and take lot number twenty-eight home. All right, next up here. So Whew. These next one, two, three, four, five, eight. six, seven, eight lots. Say it was right. These next eight lots are all brickheads, all new in box, all from Stop Ryan. Stop in the boxes. It'll be okay. I hope you guys are excited. These are awesome, and we're starting off with a big set, moving to some pricier stuff. Yeah, there's some prices. I mean, this one already is pricey. But like, <laughs> just that single one over there. Don't get me wrong, man. I was shocked at how much some of these things are worth. Now. Well, you you had them for five, six years. So yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. Uh, seven. Some of them are seven years. Six or seven years, yeah. Some yeah, but I mean, you didn't yeah. get them that far back. No, I did. I did. Not all of them. I, I got a lot of these because they got them on clearance and stuff when they first came up. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> Toys R Us. Oh, see you in. Oh, yeah. I'll see you with Big Tail. Oh, yeah. Sure. That's what I'm saying. Well, I, all right. So, here. Well, oh, that's funny. That's funny. <laughs> oh, Sarah. I don't know what that is. It's 30. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you could have just grabbed the 30 from another bin and use that instead. You had to be that difficult. Is, all right, we'll, we'll get there in a moment. That all right, lot number 29 really in Brickhead really form. Fun. We do have the majority of the Avengers. And the Guardians of the Galaxy. Yep, he is an Avenger too. Let's just put it, let's say what it is. Yeah. So we have Star Lord, Gamora, Hulk, Black Widow, and Iron Man. These are brand new sealed in box. And tonight you can get all five of these here. All five of these for $115. Awesome. $115 for this five pack, two Guardians, three Avengers, 
a lot of fun. It's awesome. And uh, yeah, I mean, who doesn't want the briquettes? Yeah, these are like 140. I think it was like 143 dollars, 144 dollars, something like that, yeah, something yeah, like that something, total. Something, something, um, something. Just, what is it? 147? I was close. Yeah, normally 147 dollars, guys. So it's 32 dollars off tonight uh, to get these awesome three sets. So basically, you're getting Starlord for free. Yeah, Starlord and some of Gamora for free. And if you like those, well, you guys are gonna love this. So this next lot is lot number 30. Hold on, but I'm gonna do a quick. That's what that's what Sarah did. So it's lot number 30, guys. So see 11, 12, 4, and 3. So Because 11 lot. plus 12 is 23, plus 4 is 27, plus 3 is 30. Mm -hmm. So if you add yeah. them all up, it's 30. So uh, we, we're missing lot number 30. So Sarah decided to be really, really funny, which is great. She's she always got this. a sense of humor today, so I appreciate it. And she did this because we couldn't find the lot number. But hey, lot number 30, ignoring the numbers, you get these two awesome brickheads. You get Thanos and the Mark 50 Iron Man brickhead. Uh, very nice additions to lot number 29, of course. And you can get both of these here for 70 bucks. 70 bucks for these two. So lot number 30, not four different numbers. Yes. 30, do the math. <sighs> There we go. Uh, quick question from where did it go? From C Raps. Uh, how much is the Concord behind you? It is one hundred and eighty-five dollars. Take it, take it, take it, take it. It does come with instructions and all the extra pieces and sand. It's awesome. Take it. It is a beautiful set. Take it. Uh, but yes, uh, lot number thirty here tonight is going to be seventy dollars for Iron Man versus Thanos, and of course it is the Mark Fifty Iron Man. All right, next up here, lot number 31 and 32 are from Lego Star Wars Brickheads. And here we go. The first lot, we get Finn and Rey, which is awesome. Um, you can see the transition from the darker tone to the lighter tone of Star Wars Brickhead style. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, you can get both of these here for $50. That's lot number 31 for $50. Or maybe you like lot number 32. <sighs> Vader and Kylo. Also for fifty dollars. Also, yes. Yep. Tonight you can get either one, lot number thirty-one or thirty-two. Two different briquettes for fifty dollars. We've got Eric Watt claiming lot number thirty-two. Coloring and Darth Vader is gone. Veda. So we do still have lot number thirty-one. Ray and Finn left as well. All right. Moving on down to lot number 33. Lot number 33 okay. from Pirates of the Caribbean. We have Captain Jack Sparrow and Armando Salazar. We have here Brickhead sealed in box as well for 50 bucks. Not bad. 50 bucks. And Eric Watt is going to claim lot number 33 as well. Guys, got to get the captains. Well, and by the way, guys, these are low number. See, this is what I'm talking about. Lot number 9 and 10. These guys were circa 2017. See, these are the ones I got right before the store. Look, Jack. Jack is 45 alone. That's crazy. Yeah. So there you go. Uh, moving on to lot number 34. We have some more brickheads. In number 11 and 12, we have Beauty and the Beast. Of course, we have Belle and the Beast here tonight. Also for $50, you can get this two-pack of original series brickheads here. Um, Belle is definitely the most, I think, the most sought-after Disney princess um, done in brickheads. Funny enough. Really? Yes. I don't know why, but she is. Um, and funny enough, Eric Watt got lot number 34 as well. Jordan was after it, but Eric got it. So Eric's claiming all these low, low number brickheads. So I'll take it. All right, moving on. We got another series in the 20s. Dave, why don't we talk about these right, lovely brickheads? From Lego DC Superheroes or just DC Extended Universe, we have here Cyborg, Aquaman, and Wonder Woman. These are sealed in box, and tonight you can get these for $55. Yes, these are set numbers 22, 20, or series number, I should say, 22, 23, and 24 mm -hmm. for this low level lot of DC yep. superheroes. They and these, of course, are the Justice League superheroes. They also made the Flash, and then if you wanted Superman or Batman, that was a specialty set that they did as a comic. As a pair, correct. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you had to go back to the number one Batman. And get the comic book version of Batman. Uh, I guess when they did another one too. They did. Was there a one. Dark Knight Batman at some point? It might have been. I don't remember. It's hard to keep track of well, all two hundred plus of them now. I know some of the the brickheads that were exclusive. So they did Martian Manhunter and Supergirl as an exclusive. Yep. I think it was Comic Con. There were some Comic Con and ones for sure. They did a Spider Man. Which way to ruin an entire series, right? Make them a Comic Con exclusive, like right? Because now you can't like complete it, complete it unless right. you can't, there. They should just make it like set number like one thousand 
one or so, something, something that's, that's deleted, irrelevant from the base number right. line. Yeah. Then they did a Spider Man and a Venom as well. There's a um, bunch of them. There's a, there's a handful. Hundreds of them, folks. But yeah, tonight, line number 35, you can get Wonder Woman, Aquaman, and Cyborg for $55. All right. Line number 36 is our final Brickheads of the Night. We um, have here from Lego Ninjago, we have Lloyd and Master Wu from the Lego Ninjago movie line. This is from the series 18 and 17. So it should have been this way. Yeah, well. um, whatever. So tonight, you can go home <laughs> with these here for $65. And look, Lloyd is 45 just in himself. Yeah, let's see. Lot number 16, number 18, number 17. Let's see what it says. Oh, by the way, guys, uh, if you guys haven't noticed, notice what it says. Exclusive 17 and 18. Not Series 1, not Series 2, not whatever. Exclusive. So these are some of those exclusive sets we're talking about. The um, 11 and the Demigorgon is also an exclusive set. Yes. Yep. So lot number 36, you get this exclusive Lloyd and Master of Brickheads for $65. All right. Next up here. So these next four lots came in early this morning. They're good to go. Instructions, boxes, stickers, figures, a little bit of wear and tear, a little bit of play. One of them has brand new sticker sheets. Yeah, yeah, they're in the instructions. Yeah, so yep. that one's missing one book, but I I could look for it. It's not a big deal. Oh, one of the instructions. Yeah, it's not a big deal. It's, it's, it's got two sets of stickers, one. which I think. So no, it is two sets of stickers. Yeah, in that which one. is crazy. Um, yeah. All right. So we're gonna start off here with this awesome little three-in-one. Even though it's not a three-in-one labeled, this is the original three-in-one where they would show all the parts on the top. It's a three-in-one. It's a three-in-one. Yeah, but it's like the the OG kind of. Right, that's part of the original creator series where they actually showed you all the I parts. I was covering this up when yeah. I said that. <laughs> okay. uh, but yeah, so you get the construction hauler set tonight. Of course, this is the main build, which is the one that's always on the cover. Um, so there's a hauler this to way, bring away the little uh, backhoe uh, bulldozer here. Um, as well as uh, it does have the other modes yep. to go along with it. And looks like Frank is going to go ahead and buy this for his city. So congratulations nice. to Frank. Nice. Frank, do you have your own little micro city? So you got it'll, a big city and a micro it'll, city? It's it still work because you start putting things in the distance to get perspective on it. So it, it always works. It doesn't matter. Trust me. Hey, I took architecture, man. I know. All right. Well, he's I playing think around. about it that way, but yes. Yep. Yes, I know. As that. he's playing around with that one, we have lot number 38 tonight, which is an awesome lot of some expensive old city vehicles here tonight. We have the tow truck and the logging truck. Um, this is actually by far the most expensive regular uh, Lego tow truck or hauler, if you want to call it that. Um, as well as the logging truck, which is awesome because it does come with a couple trees. Those guys here, you get the lovely little chainsaw dude as well as yeah, your operator, your truck driver. That's a piece that was missing. I found it. Yep. And then they do, of course, come with both boxes and instructions for both vehicles. Um, so these would be perfect for any type of city, Frank. <laughs> so if you don't have, if you don't have them yet, you should buy them now. Uh, and if you have them, you can just start a whole fleet of tow trucks because you're going to need them to start hauling all these other vehicles. Well, I mean, not only that, <laughs> that tow truck will work really well with this next lot. Well, Oscar Ramirez is going to claim lot number 38. All right. So here, lot number 39 is going to go very well with lot number 38. This here, you have a police transport and a heavy hauler. So this heavy hauler is complete with two figures, two extra cars. So it's perfect for that tow truck. Um, or if you guys just want something to fill up more space, you know, you could split the trailer and everything. And then yep. you have this awesome police transport, which opens up. So the that opens up. I think this opens this way and this way. You got a jail cell storage. Top shelf too. Yep. Yep. Coffee. Yep. So this one actually, and the reason why it's pretty blank on here is because we have brand new sticker sheets. Yep. For this I mean, it's, it's supposed it to have built, all the police logos and everything You else. can clearly tell it was built once, put back in the box. Same with this. Yep. Because I think very good condition with all these. They're missing. still shiny and everything else, not even barely used. There. Um, and of For course, shiny. the nice thing about this set, I will say, um, and a lot of people come after this set, is this also will fit the six wide um, Speed Champions cars. It will not fit the eight wides. Uh, for the last two years, but it will fit all of these six wide Speed Champions cars. Uh, we've tested it out. Um, that's why a lot of people that are into Speed Champions, such as myself, this is one thing I don't have, um, is one of these guys because you can actually put all four cars on it. The only downside is that those a, are a little bit longer, so you have to leave these there's down. There's a bigger hauler that you could 
There is a bigger yellow one, yes. A, ma- a much bigger yellow one There as was well. a red one, too, that you could use as speed champions. Uh, I think there was a red one, yeah. But the six wides do fit in these as well. So if you guys are a speed champions fan, it works. Um, and, of course, your uh, mobile police unit does come also with a little um, Corvette car, um, a city bike with mirrors, and, of course, your mobile police unit itself. So you get all five minifigs. And everything you see here with boxes and instructions for $55 if you claim lot number 39. All right, next up here, last before we get to our mystery boxes, this here is from Lego Technic, and it is our tractor. But this is not the tractor build. This is the secondary build. That's yep, part it's a two-in-one. Because it's a two-in-one. Um, this build is 100% complete, as I reconstructed about 50% of it. Um, it's ready to go. Tonight, you can go home with this two-in-one Technic vehicle here for... Nice $30. $30. It's awesome. Rotating front end, the motor in the back. Yep, little four cylinder in line. Doesn't in have line shocks or anything, but the it's. Yeah, you would have thought they would have, but I, but I guess it is supposed to be the normal build as a tractor, so they wouldn't have included it, but they should have. Right. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, slot number 40 can be yours here with box and instructions for $30. It's awesome. Yep. All, All right. right. Last. But never least is our mystery boxes for the evening. We have all three, green, yellow, and red. So lot number 41, 42, and 43. And in order for you guys to see what is inside our mystery boxes, you have to claim the items first. If they are part of the themes we have here tonight, as we normally do. Yep. Um, they typically are $20, $25 or less, depending. Yep. Um, and they're awesome. I know I really like one of them that I do. So, all right. <laughs> so, I ain't telling you nothing. Lot number 41 is for $3, the green box. Lot number 42 is for $5, being our yellow box. And lot number 43, our red box, is $6. So, three, five, and six. And again, in order for you to see what's inside, you have to claim them first. Yes. Yeah, so, again, lot number 41, the green box, for $3. Lot 42 or the yellow box for $5. Or lot 43, the red box for $6. Ooh. What's inside those boxes? What's inside the box? All right. First and foremost, we have Eric Watt claiming lot number 42, the yellow box for $5. All right. You get this small little construction scooper and a little toilet. Yeah, he busted it. He busted the toilet. Curse you, tiny toilet. So then, of course, you got to put the cones out and everything else to fix the bathroom. So you messed up the map. So congratulations to Eric on lot number 42. All right, uh, right after that, we've got Frank Espinosa claiming lot number 41 for $3. This one never slides open. The green one does kind of stick a little bit, I noticed. You get this little old school Lego dragon. Lego dragon! Rawr. With instructions. Yep. With instructions. Oh, hey, look, I found lot number 30. Hey! Guess what? We, we know how to add now. <laughs> Why was it? We have the answer. I don't. Uh, you tell me. I know I put this in here, but lot number thirty was not in here when I. Put All this right, in. That's, uh, that'll be. All right, yes, Eric. Eric says I broke the toilet. Yes. Okay. All right, that means we have lot number forty-three. Oh no, we don't. I take that back. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Is that Frank? I think you'll see Frank. Uh, Frank Espinosa is going to claim lot red. All right. This here from Lego Star Wars. <laughs> Just this. Just a bag. This. It's a bag. No, Yay. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You get this awesome attack cruiser. Yeah. Or attack shuttle. I think it's attack shuttle. Yeah, shuttle. Oh, yeah. Yep. Very similar to the ones that are actually found a lot of times right now with Bad Batch, just in all white. Do you mind? Um, so congratulations to Frank on lot number all red. Right, so and Liam says in here, so because it was in the mystery boxes, Frank gets the lot 30 sticker. Um, first off, it's not a sticker. It's a tag. Secondly, uh, no. no. I don't know how it ended up in there, but no. yep. All right, we're going to do one final recap, and then uh, that'll be all. Yes, and before you guys go, before you guys go, because there's still 40 of you guys in here, please make sure you guys pre-order your Brick Sabers if you want them. You can go ahead and scan this beautiful, lovely code right there. I'm going to hold it there for a second. They hold it still. Um, if you want to pre-order them, they are coming in both the brand new, I said both, the, the new metallic gold. The silver and the black, of course, the mat, the black is what I have here in store. Uh, silver will be here preferably on Sunday or Monday, as well as I had to move it. Um, and then, of course, the gold will be here next week, um, hopefully as well. Yeah. Um, so you can go online to our website and buy those right now if you want to pre-order them. They will be uh, made available to pick up on May 
Fulworth. Of course, National Star Wars Day, May the 4th. Um, so you can go ahead and do those then. If you have any questions about them or want to see them, please come see one of our team members. We'll be more than excited to show you how it works. Right, Dave? Oh, we're we going to show you all that. <laughs> we're going to have demonstrations. We love them. We play we with them. Duels. We've, we've we've duel with them. It's a lot of fun. All kinds of fun stuff. We're excited. Yep. Also, make sure you guys check out Stenfest over at the uh, White Oak Library at Romeville Branch tomorrow from 10 to 4. Um, we will be there. Actually, I forgot to email them and ask them where we were going to be. Um, we're going to be in some room I'll somewhere. Find out when I get them in up, the yeah, right upstairs, downstairs, sideways. Who knows? Hanging from the ceiling, maybe. Um, otherwise, uh, also make sure that we do have those adult beverage stands, of course, available uh, for registration right now. Uh, we'll have what about eight of them left? I think it was eight left. T-shirts um, for those. Um, they are thirty dollars a piece. Uh, registration is open to uh, come and pick those up at the event, April twenty-first at two o'clock. Um, that day, the twenty-first is also. Uh, minifig swap night starting at three so from two to three is going to be the beverage build um however long it takes you guys to build it it does take a long time a little bit of time because it is 167 pieces and they're small pieces um so you have to do those as well and then of course we'll have minifig swap night after that on the 21st um otherwise thank you guys so much for watching we are going to go ahead and do our final recap here if there's anything else you guys want or need please let us know um, <laughs> Frank was asking if it gets lot thirty as well because it was in there. <laughs> yeah, you can buy you can buy lot number thirty if you want to because you, I mean technically you, you claimed it it was in there so <laughs> it was backfired. Uh, we do have Liam Five of First claiming lot number two. Liam, you better be able to come up here and pick this up, man, <laughs> or talk to your brother. Uh, lot number two is going to Liam. Of course, we know where you are. It's fine. I know you, I know where you work. Um, all right, moving back to lot number one. I gotta go back here because Sarah's doing some stuff. Lot number one here, thank you, sir. This is a Gigantosaurus and Therizinosaurus attack, uh, for $70. Uh, again, you get all those lovely figures, both awesome dinosaurs, um, with all six mini figures, helicopter, and more for $70. Moving on down to lot number five, we've got Miles Kanata's Castle. Uh, from, of course, Star Wars Episode 7. Um, you do get two for sort of troopers, Kylo Ren, Finn, and Miles Kanata here in this cute little set with instructions for $40. And switch back to this. Uh, I can have Owen pick it up, or I can pick it up May 6th. Um, yeah, Owen would need to pick it up, or you got to pay for it. One of the two. Okay, just pay for it. <laughs> uh, I'm sure I want to bring it. What? Oh, handling fees? Yeah. Owen, Owen you got to pay Owen for handling fees to pick it up for you. Um, holy cow, where are we at here? 15! Lot number 15, the Coast Guard Coast Patrol Star. set is $120 tonight. If you claim lot number 15. William says they'll call you tomorrow morning to pay for it. Uh, lot number 18 from LEGO Minecraft is the Nether Portal. Comes with Steve, a, um, a Blaze and Guest for $40. Gas. Lot number 21 uh, from the GWP sets. Over here we have the Forest Mint's Forest Hideout on sale tonight for $45. Lot number 23 is the Legolas and Gimli Fun Packs from LEGO Dimensions, brand new in box. And you get these both here tonight for $30. And swinging out to the second half. Second half. By the way, guys, if you guys are into military, custom military, anything, we've got a ton of stuff. We're going to be getting more, hopefully, soon, too, from another vendor. Ho, ho, ho. Uh, nope, nope, nope. That's claimed. That's, that should be that way. That's claimed. That's claimed. Lot number 29. Oh, hey, where's lot number 30? We, oh, there we go. Let's put this back together. <laughs> lot number 30. Uh, lot number 29 here tonight. We do have those Avengers and uh, Guardians of the Galaxy here tonight. You get Star-Lord, Gamora, Iron Man, Black Widow, and Hulk here tonight on sale for $115. And lot number 30, the actual lot number 30, um, is going to be Thanos versus Iron Man for $70 on sale. Lot number 31 is going to be Finn and Ray, otherwise known as FN2187, because he's still in Storm Tro his first order trooper outfit. You can get both of these guys here tonight for $50. Uh, otherwise, we've got lot number 35, also from Brickheads. We've got Wonder Woman, Cyborg, and Aquaman here for $55. Also brand new in box. These are set numbers 22, 23, and 24 in the series. Lot number 36, we have those exclusives, uh, Lloyd and Master Wu for $65. Uh, uh, lot number 37 was sold. 
Uh, brings us to lot number 39, which is that two-pack of the mobile police unit and the auto or car transporter. Um, of course, the auto transporter comes with the um, car delivery guy and the patron, the, the buyer. He's got a suitcase full of cash. Um, and then, of course, you have the mobile police unit here with all the police officers and the, the prisoner here um, with the car and a, a brand new sticker sheet as well to go along with these boxed sets for $55. Uh, Sheldon was asking how much for lot number 36, sir, can you go back? Lot number 36. Lot number 36 is going to be $65 on sale tonight. Those exclusive sets, 8, 17, and 18 in the series. All right. Then we have lot number 39, and then finally we have lot number 40, the tractor. This is the alternate build for the tractor. It is complete um, in this form anyway. Um, Dave went ahead and rebuilt it this afternoon after it came in. Uh, so tonight you can get this one here with box of instructions for $30. All right. So that's pretty much it for the shows. What? Oh, Chris? Finally? Oh, can I put them on, can I put them on blast? Dun, 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 dun. Button Boy finally shows up. Look at this, guys. We're at the end of the show, and Button Boy shows up. Where is he at? This guy right here. What? <laughs> Way to be late, man. Late. You we literally just finished the show. What? Really? The, the show was literally, we're literally getting ready to say goodbye. Wow. And you show up. Say bye. I thought it was 7.30. This is why you're the assistant to the regional manager and not the regional manager. Not even the assistant. It's you're, not even, you're not even See, the assistant regional manager. I can't even make the manager. joke because we're live right now. So. <laughs> yes, this is what happens live. You know, yeah. this just happens. Um, but anyway, again, guys, make sure you guys uh, get your chance to uh, order those adult beverage stands. Um, as soon as you can, we only have about seven of those left. They're going Ooh, quick, seven? of course. Tonight we ordered, we we, sold, we got eight of them already tonight. Wow. Um, and of course, uh, Chris, Dave, and I will be over at STEM Fest over at the White Oak Library tomorrow from ten to four. I'll be there. Um, there's gonna be a food trucks and everything else outside as well. Cool science to do, lots of weird, weird animals to touch and hang out with, and play with, whatever. Right. Um, you're welcome. Uh, <laughs> otherwise, guys, uh, please be nice That's over so the weekend. Uh, Sarah, Becca, and Tim will be here to help you guys out. Um, and then, of course, we will be back next Friday. That's right, guys. We're going to be back. you got to deal with us some more. Um, we will see you guys next Friday. Thank you guys so much guys, for watching. Uh, thank you guys so much for for stuff. And then, of course, please, tomorrow. if you guys need stuff uh, picked up later or make any other arrangements, please talk to Dave, talk to myself, talk to Becca, whoever's here. Uh, we'll help you guys out. And I'll talk and I'll instruct you to talk to my dad. <laughs> You're gonna, they're going to call you to tell you to call me? Sure. Great. Awesome useless just like it was tonight anyway talk to you guys later thank you guys for watching we will see you guys next friday we are out of here look at you bye